Hi everyone, I'm Kirsten Heim, and this is your September 16th ACL Weekly Update. At this time, we would like to thank everyone who came out to participate in this Saturday's Polka Run event held by the Foundation. The Italian beef grab-and-go meals provided by the Pro Shop were delicious. Megan Davis performed live entertainment for members to enjoy, and lots of fun was had by all as the meat paddle raffles took place throughout the evening, leading up to the big UTV raffle. We would like to congratulate the winner of the poker run, Annette Stoffel. Annette took first place with four aces and a king. We would also like to congratulate our big winner of the evening, Dave Fossler, who took home the 2020 Polaris Ranger 570 UTV. We are excited to see what the foundation has in store for next year. The ACL Deck the Walls photo contest is currently open for submissions. Photos of all four seasons are needed for the 2021 calendar. Members may submit up to four photos for entry. Voting will take place October 19th through October 25th on the Apple Canyon Lake Property Owners Association Facebook page. The winning photos will be featured in the 2021 ACL calendar. For rules and submission details, please visit applecanyonlake.org forward slash deck the ACL walls. We can't wait to see all the awesome photos we receive. And now I would like to introduce Sean Nordley, our general manager, with the GM update. Hello, this is Sean Nordley, General Manager here at Apple Canyon Lake. This week I'm going to talk to you about the bylaws and the amended declaration, or our covenants. Uh, the Legal Commission has been working on updating both of these documents for the past five years. Uh, some of these changes are coming from the Architectural Control Com Committee. Some are coming from our legal counsel, uh, who specializes in associations like ours. So we've made changes to, to update because of recommendations they've made, and others are just changes that uh, are necessary just with the times. So the past five years we've made these changes and now the Legal Commission is ready to bring these to the Board of Directors and also the membership. And starting this Saturday at the Board me uh, meeting, uh, we'll have the first reading where the Legal Commission will be bringing the first of the changes in the amended declaration to the Board. Uh, this is a Zoom meeting, so if you want to uh, get the invite, let me know, as, as always, with the link in this email. And also then we're going to start town hall meetings next Wednesday, September 23rd at 6 o'clock. We're going to have four town hall meetings total. Um, it's going to be Wednesday, September 23rd, October 7th, October 14th, I'm sorry, October 21st, and then October 28th. Uh, there's also a box here in the e-blast that gives us those dates also. Each town hall meeting will be at 6 o'clock and they'll last about two hours. You can attend the town hall meetings in person. You can do it via Zoom uh, and watch it Zoom. We'll also be doing Facebook Live so you could watch it live. And then the videos from Facebook will be on the website so you could watch them whenever you want. So been multi multiple uh, ways to watch and get the updates from what legal commission will be presenting to the owners. So please do so. The changes that are being made uh, affect the future of the association. Um, we want to strengthen the association. We want to secure the association for the future. So that's why these changes. The Legal Commission will be explaining why we've made these changes, uh, what is behind the changes, and why they think that these changes need to be made to these documents. So again, next Wednesday, the 23rd, will be the first town hall meeting. There's a link also in this e-blast if you want to receive the Zoom for that. So please send that to me and I'll get that to you before the meeting. If you have any questions at all on any of these, you can submit a question to me or on the web page starting on September 23rd. There will also be a link on a, on a special web page just for the bylaws and declaration where you can submit a question to the legal commission and they'll answer that for you. So trying to get as much out there as possible for you before uh, we send this to the membership for a vote so that you know what's going on. Uh, the plan is to send this out to the membership with your assessment packet in January. And then whether it takes 30 days, 60 days, 90 days to get the amount of people that we need to vote for this, that's when we'll make the announcement if these, if these pass. So please get involved, listen, ask questions, know what is being changed. And again, this is to secure and strengthen the association for the future. Thank you very much. 
Each year, ACL presents a Distinguished Service Award to two volunteers. Volunteers are nominated by their peers to receive this distinct honor. Nominees are then voted on by the Distinguished Service Selection Committee. This committee is made up of retired board members and past Distinguished Service Award recipients. Typically, these awards are presented at the annual meeting. Due to this year's pandemic, the awards were unable to be presented in person. So we'd like to take this time to announce the 2020 Distinguished Service Award winners, Kim Reese and Paula Wiener. Aaron and Nancy Winner, who nominated Kim, had this to say. Kim Reese is well deserving of the 2020 Distinguished Service Award because all he has contributed to the Apple Canyon Lake Association. He has served on the campground committee for five years, the conservation committee for five years, and the deer management commission for three years. He has also volunteered to help with the pancake breakfast, ice cream socials, youth archery days, the garden club, bocce, relay for life, lake cleanup after the flood of 2018, and the haunted trail. A major contribution he has made was with the lake monitoring. He spent several years with me going to seven areas in the lake, three on the main lake and four on the mouths of the bay taking samples of water and checking water quality. Kim would take the water samples back to his house and did lab work to determine the content of phosphorus and nitrogen in the water. When the EPA began doing lab samples for the lake, their results coincided with Kim's. Kim has not only donated a lot of his time to the lake, he is a person that is ready to help anyone with whatever they need. He is a real asset to the lake and a good friend to all people living here. Congratulations, Kim, and thank you for all of your contributions you've made to ACL. Phyllis Caddy, who nominated Paula, had this to say. Paula Wiener has been on the Conservation Committee for seven years. For six of the years, she has been the acting chairperson of the committee. She has guided and developed this committee into a comprehensive and leading responsible working entity, working closely with the general manager, Sean Nordley, and Aaron Helgerson. Paula has provided the type of leadership that encourages you to be part of ACL. Her leadership style is the type that will listen to the members or visiting residents about concerns or issues that need to be investigated and allows the membership to decide what is best for ACL. Paula also writes many articles for the Apple Corps and Appleseed about various topics. Her articles include a wide range of topics from the damselfly life cycle and their positive effect on the environment to algae blooms and why they occur. These articles are for the residents to help keep ACL a viable place to recreate and live. Lastly, the project that she has set before the committee is the Watershed Project of Joe Davies County. The Watershed Project is the greatest undertaking for the committee. The goal is to develop a comprehensive and informative program for everyone concerned. Because of her passion to undertake this project, her endless dedication, effort, and time spent for ACL, I highly recommend Paula Wiener for the 2020 Distinguished Service Award. Congratulations, Paula, and thank you for your dedication and volunteer service to ACL. At this time, we would like to thank all our volunteers who graciously donate their time for the betterment of ACL. This has been your ACL Weekly Update. Thank you for joining me, and we'll catch up next week.